The main thing that you kind of need to think about is uh, how much you're going to spend and there is this sort of steal versus splurge sort of idea where you can go one end of the scale which is to um, just buy something pretty cheap or borrow something or beg, borrow or steal sort of thing, um, just the most basic piano that you can find, versus on the other end of the scale we have people that are splurging on something that is possibly uh, a long term investment, something that is worth quite a lot of money and will retain that value and obviously be gorgeous to play. So we've got those two ends of the scale and where I kind of like to sit is to go with the best piano that you can afford. Maybe you don't have the money or you don't have any sort of savings to go and drop on a, a great piano or even an average piano. If this is your situation, uh, please don't uh, just not learn piano because you don't have any money to spend on a piano. A piano is better than no piano. So just get your hands and whatever you can. There's usually someone with an old keyboard or piano that they don't want anymore, but you'll be able to get something and start, which is the main thing. The only problem is as you start to progress and you start to learn more, you'll want to progress in your technique. And in order to do that, you need a piano that responds well to your touch. So it has good condition keys, good condition hammers. You will eventually want to upgrade if you continue, but just start somewhere basically.